Okay, here we go again. It is the 2nd of March. I'm going to start doing these updates monthly now. It makes sense, that way I won't have to answer loads of questions on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube. So what's the plan for today? We're planting trees again on the North Marsh. March was a super busy month, so I'll save all the London Fields updates for another video. For those that haven't seen it, I'll leave a link at the end of this video to the North Marsh Habitats project film. This explains the ongoing project that we're working on at this site. As I've said before, I can't come to Hackney Marshes without clearing up other people's rubbish. Left here, this would have such a negative effect on wildlife. And if people are too lazy to put it in the bin, well, I guess I'll just have to do it. Well, that's about it. Another great day, great volunteers, whole load of trees planted, and a bit of rubbish cleared up. That's nice, and it's a really good sign. The more beetles, the better. It is the middle of March. I haven't recorded an update for a little while. I've not been that well. Had to cancel a session in London Fields, which was a real shame because I wanted to get some bird boxes and bat boxes up and plant the last few trees. But stuff has been getting done. We did a session in Whitwoods in the week, which is where I am now. We built this huge stand-in dead log pile habitat. And it's a big one. Lots of small cavities underneath that will suit wood mice. We've also dug tunnels out that will suit shrews. They don't dig their own tunnels, they tend to use tunnels made by other small mammals, or in this case, me. There's also a bat box up there, and another one right there. Russell's a bit of a master at making these bat homes with a chainsaw and we've now put them in a good few of the standing dead logs in this area. So that joins a whole load of other log piles here in Wick Woods. Unfortunately, one of them has gone. Most of the big log piles like this we wire and gripple to stop people stealing them. Unfortunately, it didn't work in this case. We know who did it. He's got all of the logs on top of his boat. He's been confronted. He doesn't care. It's a real shame. There was hedgehog habitat underneath. There was loads of cavities that would have suited wood mice, other small mammals. But it's gone, and the fact that it was wired down didn't seem to stop him. At this point, about 30 young men came into the woods on bikes and electric scooters. Faces covered. Lots of... I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to leave. Okay, I am now just across the road on Hackney Marshes. I'm sure I was making a fuss about nothing, but sometimes it pays to be cautious. Occasionally people do get robbed around here. And I don't know, alarm bells just rang. And I'm sure it was nothing. But that was pretty much the end of the story anyway. Someone stole one of our log piles. It's one of those things. You do this kind of work in an urban environment and people will mess with it. That looks like fun. In the meantime, Gideon has been super busy building loads of log pile habitats here, all covered in mulch and leaves. Fantastic for small mammals. Another one here. Having these log piles all the way along here is really gonna help the recovery of wood mice. They are such an important food source, keystone species in this area. And the fact that he's putting them in every few metres means they make great stepping stone habitat. I'm really looking forward to seeing this area all come to life. Spring is just a few days away and it's going to be so nice. <laughs>